Today's color review is Sharon Williams Gossamer Vell. It's a beautiful warm gray. And for those of you that are looking for a gray that's not too dark, it's not too light, it sits right in the middle, then this could be just the right paint color for your home. But there's some important details that you need to know about Sharon Williams Gossamer Vell before deciding if it's really gonna be the right paint color for your home. Sharon Williams Gossamer Vell is not your typical warm gray. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the undertones by comparing it with a contrasting paint color and then I'm gonna compare it with some other warm grays so that you can see it for yourself why Gossamer Vell is not your typical warm gray. And then towards the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you two valuable tips that you should know about Sharon Williams Gossamer Vell. Now I'm going to show you the undertones of Sharon Williams Gossamer Vell by comparing it with a contrasting paint color called Portland Gray by Benjamin Moore. It's considered a violet gray. Watch this. When you compare Portland Gray with Sharon Williams Gossamer Vell, this is where you're going to instantly see the green gray undertones of Gossamer Vell and that's what makes it a warm gray. Now that you know Sharon Williams Gossamer Bell is a warm gray, and for those of you that don't know what a warm gray is, it always has a green gray undertone. That's what makes it warm. But this is not your typical warm gray, and I'm gonna prove it to you by comparing it with two different paint colors. So watch this. When I compare this with Benjamin Moore Revere Pewter, which is considered a warm gray, watch this. When you compare Revere Pewter with Gossamer Veil, you're gonna notice two things. Number one, Gossamer Veil is lighter than Revere Pewter. Number two, you're gonna notice how Revere Pewter, you see that green gray undertone. In comparison to Gossamer Veil, that green gray is a whole lot less pronounced. So that's really important to know. Gossamer Veil is not gonna really pull those strong green gray undertones like a lot of warm grays do. Now watch what happens when I compare this with Sharon Williams Modern Gray, which is considered a warm gray. Watch this. When you compare Modern Gray with Gossamer Veil, you're gonna notice how Gossamer Veil leans on the cool side in comparison to Modern Gray, and that's gonna play a key role. I'm gonna talk about that in just a minute. So what you need to know about Sharon Williams Gossamer Veil is that it's a warm gray. That's true, but it also has a tendency on leaning on the cool sides of grays, and that's gonna play a key role depending on how it pairs with the fixed elements that you have in your home and when it comes to lighting. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that in detail in tip number one. For those of you that don't know who I am, I'm an online paint color consultant. I help thousands of clients every year select the correct paint colors for their home. I highly encourage you to go to my website check out my online packages and read the reviews and see what clients have to say. I would love to help you. Next, I'm gonna share with you tip number one. For those of you that are seriously considering painting your home with Sharon Willem Gossamer Bell, it's a beautiful paint color, but please be mindful. If you have a north facing room or really just any space that doesn't receive a lot of natural lighting, then don't be surprised that it leans on the cool sides of grays. You will see a blue and sometimes a violet gray undertones. And this is why it's so important Get a sample of Gossamer Vell, compare it with your fixed elements, and move this around in different parts of your home. I just want you to get it right the first time. It's important that you compare Gossamer Vell with the fixed elements that you have in your home. For example, one of the very first spaces that I go in every home is the kitchen, and one of the first fixed elements that I look for are the kitchen cabinets. So for those of you that have off-white kitchen cabinets, then Gossamer Vell is gonna be a good match for you. But for those of you that have honey oak cabinets, then I don't recommend Gossamer Vell for a couple of reasons. Number one, Gossamer Vell is going to lean more on the cool side. Those cabinets that you have, they typically have a little bit of an orange beige, a little bit of a yellow beige, and it's going to make those cabinets look old, tired, and outdated. Instead, I recommend you to go something that's more of a warmer gray and muted. If you want to learn everything that you need to know about 
about paint colors, this is the channel to subscribe to. I would love to have you here. I upload three new videos every week. And if you want to save time and you want to get it right the first time, I highly recommend you to go to my website, check out the online packages. I would love to help you. Until then, I will see you in the next video.